Okay, let us solve our problem on isometric projection. Read the question first. A hexagonal prism. Okay, hexagonal prism. So this is our hexagonal prism. Of base and 20 and axis length the 40 mm has a square hole of side 16 mm at the center. As a square hole is there. So this is a hexagonal prism. So inside there, there is a hole, holes in the shape of square. Square hole is there inside. Okay, axis and only. Square hole is there. The axis of the square and hexagon coincide. Both axis, the hole and the square are coincide. One of the face of the square hole is parallel to the face of the hexagon. Face is parallel and face is parallel. So here I kept this as parallel to the B and also the hole also parallel to the face is parallel to the hexagon face. Draw the isometric view of the prism with the hole to full scale like that they are asking hole to full scale. So let us draw that. So here we have to draw the top view first right. So I draw the top view first. For that, let us draw the x-y line, x-y line, isn't it? Okay. Now, So hexagon of side 20 mm. So I take 20 mm hexagon for this. Okay, this is a hexagon. Hexagon has top six corners and bottom six corners. <coughs> so I name the top corners as A, B, C, D, E, and F. And the bottom corners I name it as P, Q, R, S, T, and U. Bottom corners are T and U. Then we shall project in the front view. The height is 40 mm, right? So double the side, 40 mm.
मात्र पांच सौ के So I have to draw one side parallel to the hexagon side of the hexagon. So for that, I take eight mm, eight mm. Okay, totally sixteen mm. From the center, I take eight mm above and eight mm below. Okay, eight mm above and eight mm below. Okay, we draw the square hole inside. We draw the square hole inside.
inside is 16 mm so here it is 20 mm side 20 mm side and the total height also 40 mm height is 40 mm so now the orthographic projection over top and front views are over let us draw the isometric projections so I project from here I keep the view side in this direction ok first what we have to do is first we have to draw one x y one on horizontal line ok draw one horizontal line keep one point then keep the protractor in that position 30 degree and 30 degree okay. Just like this, I enclose this in a box. Okay. I keep the view side here, so I will name it as L. This is M, L, this is our O. So this point is our L. Yeah. Okay. Then what we have to do is this L to O. This distance. This distance I want here. This point is O. L to M, right? L to M. Then from here. This distance is. This point is O. Then what we have to do is measure this distance in the compass. this distance in the compass here so this is our L M N so we mark the bottom box then so similarly we can mark the top box also this may not be needed so bottom box we completed then mark the points on the circumference so for that so I mark O2 this distance O to Q. So this distance, right? Similarly, this distance. Okay. Similarly, this distance. points are, this point is of P, Q, R, S, T and U. So now we can draw this also, P, Q, Q, R, R, S, S, T, T, U and, and finally, so we mark the hexagon, bottom hexagon 
then similarly we can mark the top hexagon also. Before that, we try to mark this square on this place. So for that, we have four points: one, two, three, and four. So this point is one nine five. So how that? So for that, draw horizontal points. Okay, from here also you can draw horizontal points. Mark the horizontal and vertical points over here. Then I can mark these distances. So for this point, so I measure this distance. Okay, this distance from O to L. O to L. So I mark here. O to L. Okay. So if you are considering the same distance will come for this distance. So this distance means L. So here also the same. Here also the same distance. Same distance. Then measure this distance. Measure this. So this distance is same as this. So this distance is also same. So for that, what we can do is go here on Y, and here also. Okay. Now we can draw the lines. For example. Lines parallel to the sides, or we can connect the points also. We will get the lines. So we got the square. Okay, we got the square. Four points. These values are one, five, six. So this is our five. Okay, five, six, seven, and eight. Then bottom, all the points on the bottom is over. Then go for top corner points. For that, project all the corner points towards up. Okay, I projected P. Then Q, R, R, yes, T, U, S. Then similarly we can connect. The lines for five, six, seven, eight are five, six, seven, eight, eight. So now the height, all the heights are same. All the height are same. See here, this height is same. Okay. So we can mark all the.
now we can connect the top everything is clear so here what is p what is a towards p this point is a so this is our b then this c Top hexagon over. The inner points are this point is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. Hold it. Then left to most yet. Then rightmost edge, then inner limits. Okay. Now we are completed, but in the question it is asked that. So we have completed the diagram. So and so we have to draw two here. This edge is visible. Okay. This edge also visible inside the section edge is visible. Draw the isometric view of the prism with hole to full scale maybe of the light. So for that what we have to do? We have to mark the hidden edges also. The hidden edges means here, okay, the Inner images, so you mark hidden images. So here, dashed lines, you mark dashed lines. Okay. Dashed lines. So here also, we have to mark the hidden edges. So here in this we mark the hidden edges also in the isometric beam. 